AC Physics, Physics Exercises number 7, Power Factor Correction and Harmonics in AC Circuit. So let's get on with the first exercise. So here we have a single phase installation is connected to a 240 volt 60 hertz supply, consists of a 7.08 kilowatt inductive load with a power factor of 0.7 lag in parallel with a 2.1 kVA capacitor bank in parallel with a 2.4 kilowatt heat heater. So determine A, the power factor of the installation and B, the supply line current. So the three currents are in parallel and I've summarized them over there on the right hand side of the slide. So the current resistive is 2.2 kilowatts divided by 220 giving us 10.9 amps. The current in the capacitor is 2.2 kVAR divided by 220 at 9.55 amps at 90 degrees lead and the current in the inductor is 10.11 kVA divided by 220 is 46 amps at minus 45 degrees. So I've simply calculated what the power factor is into degrees here with a minus 45 and taken the 0.7 and I've worked out what that is in degrees. So my scale is 5 amps equals 10 millimeters. The constant in the circuit is volts because these are all currents in parallel. So the first thing I do is I introduce the current for the resistor. So I've scaled in my current for the resistor in red. The next thing I'm going to do is put the two currents in, one for the capacitor in green and the inductor I've put in orange. So again, appropriately scaled and at the appropriate angles as you can see the orange at minus 45 and the green at 9.5 but at 90 degrees. So the next task is to subtract the IC from the IL. So I do that by transposing the current down and subtracting it by putting it vertically up top to tail. I could have parallelogrammed but it's just a quick and easy to just put a vertical line straight up and from the origin to that beginning point is the phaser. So we've just got this point from the origin and that gives me the inductive current minus the capacitive current and that's the subtraction happening just there. So the dark green one is the result. So my next task is then to subtract, sorry not to subtract, to add the resistive current. So I'm picking up the resistive current and putting it down here at 90 degrees and then all I've got to do is close the, the parallelogram and there it is. Now all I have to do is go from the origin through there, I have an I total of 47 amps. I scaled it off my drawing at, at minus 30 degrees. So the length is 47 and the angle in here, minus 30 degrees and its magnitude is 47 amps. Seven point two. Our next little problem: we have a three hundred and ninety volt, fifty hertz single phase installation. It draws one hundred and forty amps from a supply at a power factor of 0.55 lag. Determine the rating of a capacitor bank to be connected in parallel with the load to achieve an installation power factor of zero point nine two. Also, lag. So these are the two critical pieces of information we need here. They've already given us the um, installation current at 140 amps. 
So we have our 140 amp supply and we know it's at 56. So all I've done here quite simply is uh, worked out what the cos of the angles are. So lag is minus 56 and 0.92 is minus 23. I've left the minus sign out of there. So we've simply scaled in our first angle. Now the next thing is a little bit tricky. And I've put it just in light blue. So there's the 23 degrees. And again I'll just turn the pen on. So there's where we'd like to get to. So this is the angle that we'd like to achieve. So I've just put a very light blue phaser in here. We don't know how long this phaser is yet. So I've given it plenty of length, but we know it has to be at this angle because we want to drag that one there to that one there. So we've got to add this much current from a capacitive perspective. So I need a capacitor that's doing this by this. So my current in this capacitor has got to be this much to drag that phaser up to that angle. That's the whole idea. We want to get from that angle to this angle. So let's take the next step. So the next step is to put in this green phaser which will represent the amount of current that I'm going to need. The next two things I need to know is I need to know the sides of these triangles. So it's a little bit complicated, so take your, take your time. So I need to get this side of the triangle and I need to get this side of the triangle. By getting this triangle and then subtracting the black triangle, so if I get the side of the red and I subtract the black, it will leave me with the green. So that's where I want to get to eventually. I just want to get to how long this one is. Now if I've done my diagram very very accurately I can actually scale that off. But I'm going to take you through the maths of it so you also understand how we can do it mathematically with triangles. So the first thing is we can work out the blue side. So just the blue side here it's the cos of 56 multiplied by 140 giving me 78.2. So I know that this side of the triangle is 140 amps long. I know the angle is 56. Therefore, I can use cos to work out the blue side of the triangle. The next thing I want to do is work out the red triangle. Since I have the blue triangle side now, and I have this angle, I can use the sine of the angle now to work out the red side of the triangle. So the red side of the triangle is the sine of 56 multiplied by 140 telling me it's 116 amps long. So my red one is 116 amps long. Next, I can work out how long the black one is. And I do that by taking the black side is the tan of 56. So the tan of 56 multiplied by 78.3 because I've already got the 78.3 here. I'll just draw that in. So here's, here's the 78. I've already got that. So that's where that's coming from. So all I'm doing is I'm now taking the tan of 56 to get that side of the triangle giving me 33 amps. Next step I can, now that I've got the black side of the triangle and the red side of the triangle, I can subtract the two. So I end up here. If I can get the pen color thing to work, I will. I can subtract the red and the black. So I'm subtracting the red one and the black one to equal the green one. So step four, the green one is 116 minus 33, giving me 83 amps. So my 83 amps 
here for current in the capacitor. And step five, the current times the voltage is going to tell me the KVR required. So my 83 amps multiplied by my 390 volts is going to be 32.27 KVAR. So KVAR of capacitors. So 32.27 KVAR of capacitors will produce 83 amps of current at 90 degrees, which will drag that up and it will reduce my angle from 56 to 23 degrees. So the next one, 7.3, is determine the value of static VAR capacitor. That's a fixed capacitor, a single size capacitor just bolt onto the motor. It's called a static VAR compensator. And the line current of a 40 amp 0.45 power factor lag load supplied by 230 volts AC at 50 hertz, power factor to be approved to 0.85 lag. So again, simply worked out what the cos of, cos the minus 1 of 45 degrees, telling me it's 62 degrees, cos the minus 1 of 0.85 lag, giving me 31 degrees. So I've got to improve from 62 degrees and I've got to shift this up to 31 degrees is what I've got to achieve. So that's what I've done here. I've just drawn in the first phaser was to uh, scale. Second phaser, the length is not to scale, but the angle is. There's your 31.8. I just rendered it to 32. Next step is to put in the current. So again, there's my current put in that's required. And I'm calculating out the blue side of the triangle. So the blue side of the triangle, or the top end here, this side of the big triangle is 40 amps. Sorry, cos 62 times 40 equals 18.59 amps. My black side of my triangle I need to calculate, and the red side. So the red side is simply take the sine of the angle, 62, multiply it by 40, and it tells me this red one is 35.4 amps long. Again, get the black side by just taking the tan of that. So the tan of 32 multiplied by 18.59 tells me that the black side of the triangle is 11.6. I then take the green side and subtract it. So the green side's given to me by 35.4 minus 11.6. So basically, all I'm really doing is subtracting that and that, and it's giving me. The result is the green phaser of 32.8 amps. So step five is what is that in the KVAR? So we simply take the 32.8 multiply it by 230 volts. It's going to give me the KVAR reactive, so 230 amps. And then finally, it's, we need to know what the total is of the current. So I now need to know the total current is actually the length there. That length in there. There's the total current. We've now dragged this current up into there and we've actually reduced its size to this length. So we can just use a bit of Pythagoras because we know this length and we know this length. So a bit of Pythagoras will tell us the hypotenuse. So our 18.5 multiplied or squared and added to 11.62. Take the whole square root of that. And it tells us we've reduced our current from 
40 amps so we come from 40 amps down to 21.9 because this original one was 40 amps in length and we've now reduced this to 21 amps so this is down to 21 amps in here and the phase angle in here of course was always minus 32 which we knew from the very start because that's what we were driving it back to so again you can do that by just drawing it very carefully to scale or if you understand how the triangles all work within the uh, model you can actually just use trigonometry and Pythagoras to work out everything you need so that brings us to the end of number seven I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about AC